Hey everybody, Benjamin Soma here. I wanted to show you how to install and set up the chord player. You're going to get this zip file in your download. Go ahead and extract it. And inside there's two files. This setup guide that I wrote, it's not very long, so please go ahead and read it. And this Ableton Live Pack. So double click on the Ableton Live Pack it's going to automatically open Ableton Live and then ask you where to install it. Now you can install it anywhere that's safe on your system to run uh, uh, sounds or Ableton Live packs from. You can, you can install it into your Ableton folder if you want. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and install it to the desktop to be easy. Now here, under Places, we're going to add, we can add the folder, and that way it will show up here. So we can add this folder that was just installed to the desktop. I've already done this, so it's right here. And inside, there are four different templates to use. So we're going to use the template for our controller, and I'm going to work with the push right now. So. Let's drag it in, and you kind of have to hold down the mouse until it creates that box. And then it will work. All right, there are three tracks here. The colorizer track sends MIDI out to your push, and your push interprets that as lights. So there's no input on this um, track, and for the output, we're going to set it to the push output. Now sometimes um, you might have a different name for your push port. Um, so you need to select the proper port for your system. And sometimes, even if you have the same name, you might need to reselect this port um, to get things working. So in the chord player track, we have our input coming from the push. So we need to select our push input. The monitor is going to set be set to in, so it's always receiving uh, MIDI, no matter if it's armed or not. And then for the output, we're going to select this track here, this blank track. Here on the blank track, we need to make sure that the input is set to none, or at least it cannot be all ins. And because we don't want MIDI coming straight from the push, straight into this track, bypassing the chord player track. Um, because then you'll get um, wrong notes um, in amongst the chord uh, notes. So set this to no input, or if you have a secondary controller, I have um, an Axiom um, 61 keyboard here. You can select that one if you want, and that way you can play um, keyboard um, notes alongside the chord player chords from your push. Otherwise, set it to no input so that things don't get messed up. <laughs> and then we'll need to insert a polyphonic instrument, any instrument that can play chords. So let's go to Ableton's Grand Piano and just drag it on top of this, replacing that. Um, you can also just drag it up to here and it'll just replace that blank rack. All right. So we have the piano. Now um, we need to arm it just like normal. And then we're going to go over to the push and make sure we're on the right scale. So I have a little picture to help. We're going to hit the scale button. And we need to make sure the layout is set to sequential. And we want to have chromatic mode, not in key. And we need to make sure that the root of C is selected. Um, we have vertical orientation. 
Um, and yeah, that's I think that's all you need. So once you've done that, you can play this MIDI clip to play the lights. If you have this colorizer track selected, you might be getting a kind of a flashy effect going on on your push. But all you need to do is highlight another track and that should um, be solid and um, not flash anymore. And that's all. There you go. Now here, these knobs on the chord player can adjust some things. The root knob allows you to choose what key you're in, and you have a reference here, um, the major and minor scales. Um, for You can also transpose it up or down 12 half steps, and you can change the octave of the note row, the top row, up or down two octaves. And these knobs change the, uh, the, the certain rows into major or minor, uh, depending on the row. Now this one changes the two row, the second row, to a, a major chord. Normally it's minor. You just flip it past 64 or 65 and then it turns on. This will adjust the third row from minor to major. This changes your fourth row from major to minor. And then lastly, this knob changes your seventh row from a regular diminished triad to a fully diminished seventh chord. And here, back on the colorizer, we have these knobs that can be adjusted to change the colors of the different rows. Um, on the push one, there are less colors available, so you might need to change these knobs to make it look nice on your push. And that's all you need to do. I hope this was helpful. Have fun. <laughs>